Hi beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. Today I want you all to go grocery shopping with me. I'm going out with my housemate who is a current PhD student. She's here on a fully funded scholarship and let me know in the comments if you want me to bring her to speak about her experience applying. Anyways, we're going to Food City. It's actually my first time I've been here to buy grocery. She suggested it because um, there are some cheaper items that we could see regularly. We go to Walmart. So anyways, this is the setup of the place. It's so beautiful with all the colors um, from the vegetables. Here, I'm just trying to pick some peppers for myself. Red ball pepper, yellow, green. I was going to make fried rice the coming week. So that's why I got that. Next, I'm picking up spinach leaves because I wanted to make a goosey soup. It's a local Nigerian soup and my sister had sent me the melon seeds and I thought it would be just nice to quickly make something out of it. I really liked this. I've made the soup now and I really liked the spinach I got from here previously. The ones I used to get, they appeared very light so it made the soup very watery but I'm glad I would experience now. <laughs> I know better. I know where to shop for things like this better. I just picked carrots, bananas. I was going to make a smoothie. And fun fact, this is my first time of buying mangoes here in the United States. I was very excited to pick them up. I'm just going through the food sections. I also picked papas because I just wanted to have some fruits here. My cart is full. I am checking out just dropping things one after the other at the counter it was pretty fast we just came here for vegetables and fruits so we're pretty much done with the shopping and heading out to our next stop is Mekong. It's an Asian supermarket. Again, it's my first time of visiting thanks to my roomie. Um, you'll be wondering how come. So my first year actually, I never went physically grocery shopping. This was because I didn't live close to any and I didn't have a car at my disposal. <laughs> so now I am living the life visiting shops around anyways this asian store is really big it's the biggest i believe that we have here in tempe you can see that there are so many asians around um, we're really here for the protein and seafood so here we're just trying to select what beef here yeah, you can see what they call shaki it's called beef honeycomb and then there's chicken there's turkey um, there's pork, there's gizzard, chicken and beef gizzard. Just looking around, I selected um, two packs of turkey from here and put them in my cart. Quick question guys, when do you typically like to do grocery shopping? Do you like to go early in the morning or midday or in the evening when you're done with your responsibilities for the day and secondly do you always go with a shopping list or you just go in there and pick anything you like let me know in the comment section okay so next we're going looking at all the beef so on this side the products have actually not been caught so the previous side you can pick them and the price tags are already there but here you can choose what quantity you want and they'll put it on the scale and tell you how much it will cost okay so we're gradually getting into the seafood part this is my favorite part actually because um, I love fish I love different types of seafood here there's salmon there's tilapia fish there are different cuts of salmon actually there's catfish look at that one Cards. and there you can see you can see a tilapia fish that i just raised up
Okay, so proceeding to the seafood, you can see different types of crayfish and prawns and shrimps. These ones are all out here and then their prices are right behind. So you put them on the scale and then they'll tell you how much it costs per pound that you are buying. So that is crab. There's so many different types. I didn't buy any of this though. But next time I'll be back to buy them. Here I'm just trying to select what sauce will be good for me. Um, there was the seafood sauce that I saw. It's very red and spicy. I tried it before. And then there's the garlic butter one right under that I think I ended up picking. Then the cajun pepper sauce. I dropped it because I think I already had sauce in the house. But then this garlic butter one was a winner. Anyways, guys, a little bit of a secret. I've been losing weight and I'm actually trying to ump my diet plan so if you have any ideas for me on what i can be eating i really want to gain weight like in the next one two months i'm i'm serious i am actually serious i've been losing so much weight so if you have any food recommendations for me please drop it in the comment section okay thank you here i'm actually just looking out for some protein i did see eggs it was my first time of actually seeing brown eggs i had always seen white eggs everywhere so i saw brown eggs and i was so excited and then i also saw that packed shrimp that i just put in my shopping basket and off i went our next stop which is the third place is walmart and this is where i typically go shopping every single time walmart is very big and they have a wide variety of things to buy from them here i just picked a pack of water and continued going so prior to now i actually didn't know that it cost more to buy vegetables here at walmart than it did at food city so if you recall i bought all my vegetables at food city here a bulb of tomato is 98 cents and there i actually bought like a whole nylon which was like 10 you know bulbs of tomato for 1.98 so it's way cheaper although the price differential is small except when you're buying in bulk then you can see the difference but anyways this is their stack of fruits you can see apples red and green apples onions yeah that's 98 cents um tomato is the same price as 98 cents as well <laughs> right and then fruits so i picked strawberries here because i wanted to make a smoothie remember i bought bananas at food city i actually don't like to buy cut out fruits from walmart i prefer to buy whole fruits so here you can see different cuts of fruits like pineapples pawpaw um, bananas apples but i prefer to buy the whole one so i can refrigerate for as long as i want this is the spinach that i spoke about earlier these are the ones that i used to buy and now i have seen the lights <laughs> so i'll be buying the ones that i got at food city because i find that it's it works better for me and it's even also cheaper walmart has a wide range of rice and pasta to select from i typically like to buy the parboiled rice it's closer to the nigerian type of rice and the rice that i'm very much used to when i first moved i tried on the jasmine rice and i did not like it at all i used it to cook jollof rice and it was so soggy but i then got introduced to this parboiled rice and i haven't looked back since then here is a closer look of how it actually Actually is and then here you can see different types of rice the ribbon rice matami rice or mahatma i don't know what this is mahatmi basmati rice there's long green rice that's jasmine rice there's brown rice uncle ben's rice 
different types actually then there's beans and all that but i don't buy it see brown rice pasta and all so i'm done now and checking out walmart has the scan and go feature where you can check out your items without actually going to the counter physically and when i first moved and i saw this the nigerian in me was so surprised like wow you mean that these people actually trust their customers enough to allow them check out by themselves and would not want to game the system Ooh. anyways this is america so i'm just checking out my things and putting them out one by one essentially you just need to check the barcode on the item with the screen on the need and then the item would show up on the system and give you the price as well for the larger item which was my pack of water i just used the scanner on the side and dipped it against the barcode on the water pack next i'm checking out with my card i have my total and i'm ready to leave with all my items <laughs> meanwhile did i mention that i left my mask at home and so when i got to food city they handed me this face mask and i wonder if i wore it correctly because it hurts so bad like i don't know if this is how it was supposed to function but anyways I couldn't wait to get into the car and remove my items. Here you see me picking up my receipt and leaving. At the end of the shopping, I got my receipts for all three stores and in total I ended up spending about $60. Not bad. Not bad at all. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. Thank you for sticking with me. Don't forget to drop your recommendations and food for me in the comment section. Thank you for watching and see you in my next video. Bye!